Hello, I'm Shalu, an operation engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to raise an incident from the AWS Managed Services console. I'll also explain when should you raise an incident and what is the incident response and resolution time. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the AMS Console. Then select the incident from the left navigation panel. Here you can see all the incidents raised in your account. From the upper left corner, select the dropdown to view the incidents based on their status. To view all the incidents, select any status. Now let's see how to create an incident. From the upper right corner, select Create Incident. Here we need to fill in the incident details. On this page, you see, you can raise incidents on the basis of three priority levels, low, medium, and high. Raise a low priority incident when any of the non-critical functions of your applications related to AWS or AMS resources are impacted. Raise a medium priority incident when applications are moderately impacted and functioning in degraded state. Raise a high priority incident when the resources are unavailable, leading to the outages affecting production systems. Let's create a low priority incident. Next, select a category for reporting an incident. Select access issues when you have queries about accessing your AWS managed resources. Select availability when a resource appears to be unavailable. Select performance issues when a resource seems to be underperforming. And select security related when you have a security concern about your AMS managed resources. And select other if none of the other categories apply. Select the access issues category. Enter a meaningful subject for the incident. To test incident functionality, it's a best practice to add the no action flag to your incident title, which is AMS test no ops action required. Let's add the no action flag to the subject. Next, add the email addresses in CC email section. Here you can add the list of email addresses for people who should be informed about the incident report and resolution. Note that this section is optional. However, we generally encourage to use this option for receiving incident notification. Here we'll leave this section as blank for now. Next, let's fill in the detail section. Here you can provide a comprehensive description of the incident, the system impacted, and the expected outcome of the resolution. You can either answer the preset questions or you can enter the relevant information needed to help solve the incident. The next optional section is attach files. To add an attachment, choose add attachment. Browse to the attachment you want and then choose open. For this incident, we'll leave this optional section as blank. Now that we've filled in all the details required for raising an incident, let's choose submit. When you submit an incident, you'll see details page with information on the incident, such as type, subject, created, ID, and status. Plus, you will see a correspondence area that includes the description of the request that you created. To provide additional details, choose reply to open a correspondence area. Here you can add additional email addresses in the CC email section or Add attachments by choosing Add Attachments. Enter the additional information in the Reply section. Let's enter Test in this case. When completed, choose Submit. Now the newly updated detail can be viewed on this incident. Choose Resolve case when the incident is resolved. Now let's look at the incident response and resolution time. AMS offers the incident management service commitments based on priorities. Let's have a quick look at them. Incident response time for priority one incident is less than four hours for plus customers and less than 15 minutes for premium customers. Incident response time for priority two incident is less than eight hours for plus customers and less than four hours for premium customers. Incident response time for priority three incident is less than 24 hours for plus customers and less than 12 hours for premium customers. 
incident resolution time for priority one incident is less than 12 hours for plus customer and less than four hours for premium customers. Incident resolution time for priority two incident is less than 24 hours for plus customers and less than eight hours for premium customers. Incident resolution time for priority three incident is less than 48 hours for plus customers and less than 24 hours for premium customer. With this, you know how to raise an incident from AMS console when should you raise an incident and what the incident response and resolution time is. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.